Let's talk about your man real quick. I know okay. a lot of a lot of your man this week. Yeah, I can tell. Um, they finally made an arrest <laughs> in the ongoing investigation. Who's, who's my man in this scenario? <laughs> of of uh, in the murder of Tupac Shakur, even though everybody knows who did it. Well, there's a who. There's like a who actually fired the trigger. Who fired the gun? And then there's an act like, who else might have been involved? Because this guy was arrested. They don't think that he actually like pulled the trigger. No, everybody is. Um, everybody else who was in the car with Keefe D it has died. So there's, he's the last one left. And so in turn, he's been doing interviews with Vlad, <laughs> Art of Dialogue. He wrote a book. He wrote a book. And the book is what did it. He got into his OJ Simpson bag. I wish I, I looked I looked on eBay for if I did it. There's one copy and it's a thousand dollars. There should be so many copies. Mercy used to always tell me because she used to work at Barnes and Noble. They just had like a whole stack of those, and she was like, and nobody bought them for so long. They like were oversold. So I'm sure there's some like warehouse somewhere with a bunch of if somewhere. I did it sitting around. I need I need that book. <laughs> if I did it is wild. That is yeah. Wild. He. Had, that's wild. That's called I need money is what that listen, is. Listen. And now he's on and now he's doing um uh football and uh he's a football analyst on Cam and Mace's sports show. Have you seen that? No, but speaking of Cam and Mace, <laughs> they were they were talking about apparently the uh the arrest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mace the funniest was, show on TV. Mace was being a little uh I don't know. Let's just say being a little playful. A little Cause, elusive. Yeah, because, uh, you know, the dude who's arrested, uh, he's not unknown to bad boy, apparently. The story is, is that a lot of Puff, stories, a lot of stories that Puff paid uh, these gentlemen to mm -hmm. um, assassinate yeah. Tupac Shakur. So, yeah. um Am I, would I be surprised if Keefe D gets to singing four part harmony? Not at all. Do I think that Puff is in trouble? No. Absolutely not. No, there would need to be something. Something. Now, when Puff is, you know, 75 and he, he puts out, if I did it, the remix. <laughs> <laughs> if I did it, the remix. <laughs> Ah, that's perfect. If I did it, the remix is fire. He listen, surviving Diddy will be a thing, one hundred percent. Oh One hundred percent, it's coming. Yeah, well, you know, once all those NDAs wear off, did we talk? We talked about that with with yeah. Them. Okay, we talked about that last episode. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, people thought Puff was giving away. Puff's not giving anything away. Off the grid album in stores. That's a wild rollout. <laughs> <laughs> that is an insane rollout. This dude is nuts. That album, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like nothing really caught on. Like no singles really that are caught on the larger imagination from that album. Yeah, which is very interesting because I'm like, what? It, what is the single from that album? I don't, I didn't hear any number. I just heard it was the number one album on iTunes. Which, hey y'all, that means absolutely that nothing. That means nothing means nothing um oh and I, we still using the itunes rankings as our yes sure yes i saw a post on his instagram congratulations for the, the number one album on itunes like come on man like y'all know you know we know that that okay sure i all love right. that some marketing person was like all right i gotta do that. let me hold on let me open up canva <laughs> <laughs> they got can they definitely and they got canva pro 100%. Yeah. Oh, you got a Canva Pro, man. Yeah, Listen, I got my work Canva. to pay for Canva Pro. It's great. Listen, I use it all the time. I have yeah, to. I might have to make that because I, I use um I use uh, Adobe's because I have the... Their, oh, yeah. And yeah, it's... Yeah. it's it's a. Uh, Listen, I'm not a marketer. I just pretend to be one sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So Listen, listen I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Um, yeah, so yeah. So his, um, his court day got a continuance to, I think, like October 16th or something like that, two weeks. And so we'll... Hey man, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, what they're, what they've arrested him for is nothing. 
different than what he has said in public. So I'm curious as to like, what's the, what's the approach for him going to be? Yeah. I mean, but this, yeah. Cause this is, this was the date that he was supposed to enter his plea. Uh, he didn't want to do that without a lawyer. Yeah. You know, so the lawyer's going to be like, you're going to say, you're going to have to get up there and say that you've been telling stories to sell books. Are you prepared? This is going to be a real potential when keeping it real goes wrong situation. He's and this dude world is, world, this dude is a, from everything I understand, he is like a, he is a real, like a real deal. Like he yeah. has done his thing in the, yes. in the streets for a while. Yes. So yes. that's a, I'm not even trying to joke. I don't know if he even feels like he could or would even feel like it's possible for him to make that. But like, I don't know what other kind of play he has. Yeah. You know, I wonder like when you get to a certain age, they just kind of like, you know, like, do you have a retirement plan? Like as a gang member, like, is there a thing you can't be in your, like your fifties and sixties still putting in work. There's no way, no way. They got to let you, they got to let you chill. And in this case, anybody that he's, you know, implemented, it, I think the last person to, to pass away was, I think, Big Dre, who people say was the actual uh, uh, trigger man. And he passed away like 2014, I think, 2013, mm. 2014. So I don't know. I don't know. Crazy. It's so it's so it's so interesting that after all this time, the police, the Las Vegas Police Department was like, all right. <laughs> Come on. I'm like, now you do. do. <laughs> I just, just love the, I, I just love the idea that maybe someone was like, they just show up one day. They're like, do you know what I just read on the airplane? Right. Do y'all know about this book? Do you know that video, this video that just showed up in my, in my algorithm on YouTube? Like, I think this is proof positive that Vlad is not the feds. Listen. Otherwise this would have happened a long time ago. <laughs> I don't I think don't. the Vegas police are watching Vlad. Maybe they should be. First of all, Vlad is 100% the feds. <laughs> He is employee of the month every month. And this is the thing. Like, is there not? I was thinking like, yo, do I want to make a career change? Seems like being a like a, a part of the hip hop police or being a detective would be pretty easy nowadays because all these kids just telling themselves now. It's crazy. I sound old. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. I'm old. <laughs> it's cool. Y'all be, be telling yourselves all the time. Get off the freaking internet.